What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be how to use multi threading while using the Langchain document loader okay so in the last tutorial we have seen how to use Langchain document loader to load simple file i mean simple text text file then how to use Langchain document loader to load a csv file and also we have seen how to load an entire directory which contains multiple files so all these three use cases we have covered and in this tutorial i'll do similar thing but with the help of multi threading and uh, before doing that i will actually uh, uh, i will actually try to actually load an entire directory uh, with without using the multi threading and then i'll calculate the time and after that what i'll do i'll try to actually load the same directory using multi threading and after that i will try to actually calculate the execution time and we'll see what is the difference okay so definitely there will be some difference but again i'm going to use only uh, 40 or 50 files so i have actually uh, i have created multiple files in this directory so there are total 43 and it starts with zero so there are total 44 files so what i'll do i'll try to actually load the entire directory i mean this all csv file without using multi threading and after that i'll use multi threading and there will be definitely some difference one second or two second so you can imagine for 44 files if you have gain two second difference or one second difference if you multiply this thing with hundred or thousand maybe you'll be going to gain a hundred seconds so hundred second means almost three minutes right so this is going to give you the difference when you are going to do something bigger but if you're uh, if you're if you if you're not going to scale down your approach then definitely uh, simple um, multi-threading without uh, sorry simple uh, document loading without multi-threading is okay okay so first thing i'll try to do it without using multi-threading so it should be from uh, langchain uh, dot document loader import uh, import directory loader then from what else uh, i think this is all we'll be going to use import os and time right so let's first calculate the working directory os dot get cwd and then we'll start calculating the time st means start time equals to time dot time right then we'll create a loader equals to directory loader then path is going to be pwd then glob is going to be something like this so basically star star then star dot csv right and then docs equals to loader dot load right and then i'll stop calculating the time so end p is going to be time dot time and then we'll be going to find out the elapsed time et is actually end time minus st and we'll print that okay print et okay let's see let's see what is going to happen here okay terminal okay so it should be python 3 and okay so execution has been started here okay so something is happening i don't know the time difference but let's see okay yeah something is happening so it's completed in 27 second 8 20. so just to validate whether it is doing correctly so i'm just going to actually check the length of this docs okay okay let's see okay it should give me 44 okay so it is going to take 27 point eight second okay so now i'll what i'll do and now i'll try to actually uh, include the multi-threading and let's see okay 
so this time this is going to take actually one second less okay so 44 it's everything is fine now what i'll do i'll just try to include a special flag uh, use multi-threading and i'll try to actually make it true and let's see what is the difference it is going to bring okay okay let's see yes so this is not making any difference if you see here it is still uh, taking 26.49 and here it is actually so basically it's taking more time here okay so what i'll do i'll try to actually um do it again Yeah, now it is taking a little bit lesser time. So basically, maybe some caches or something is working. Okay, so I don't know, like with this number of file, it is actually going to make any difference here. But uh, if your file count is more, maybe it is then going to make some difference. Okay, right. But always try to use uh, this approach. Uh, if you are having like multiple files, then definitely you will gain some uh, like second. Okay. Nothing else, this tutorial is going to be very easy, but again, just to uh, give you guys all the uh, all the bits and pieces of Langchain document loader, I just create this small, small videos because um, everybody is not actually in advanced level. So many of you uh, join this tutorial just as a beginner. So I just thought of creating this small, small component in a separate video to make it kind of a use case driven. Okay, so uh, not much to say in this video, I believe you guys are following this video this is the tutorial 23 and before that we have already created um, more than uh, i believe we have created 20 sec, uh, two, uh, we have created almost 20 uh, two tutorial before this video so if someone is watching this video for the first time or if you, someone is new to our channel please go ahead and uh, try to find out this playlist from our channel and try to watch it from the beginning because it is highly recommended to actually start the tutorial from the beginning if you want to actually master the Langchain okay and not only Langchain if you are planning to actually um, do something in the field of AI or artificial intelligence or LLM or uh, AI driven application development then this is the right path you are in so please uh, stay tuned with us we'll keep on posting more videos in the upcoming days okay so before I conclude this tutorial I would like to request you a couple of things guys please try to subscribe to our channel hit the like button and share our videos with your family and friend because you always uh, want to reach to the larger audience base as your one subscriber or your one subscription or your one share with your friends or family will give you a uh, lot of things lot of motivation and also it will help us to grow because uh, by doing the subscription nothing will harm you but your own subscription will bring joy and glory to our life okay so please subscribe to our channel whenever you are watching this video it's a request and last but not least when you are watching this video after you finish watching try to actually write down the code by your own cause without writing the code you won't gain any confidence or won't gain any motivation for doing something extra see these things are very small part of the uh, Langchain document later multi-threading because here i just show you how to use the multi-threading but if you when you are joining the company, when you are start working for some client, maybe you will see the application of this multiple multi-threading is completely different, right? So that time you have to actually apply your own logic, own sense to develop the solution for the customer. So that is why I want you to guys to think from now, like you watch this video, you write down the code, that is fine. And after that, now try to enhance your knowledge by think, by analyzing and by visualizing something by your own. If you're not able to do it, it's fine. Just let us know, we can do it. And if you have some interesting use cases, also let us know. We'll try to actually incorporate all those 
thing in our upcoming videos okay so enough of talking guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day